art can change our future. Travel with me, artist John Dyer and artist Joanne Short. Be inspired by endangered environments, plants and animals, and learn about tribal culture. Paint, connect, exhibit and change. It's a last chance to paint. Welcome to day four of Precious Africa. And today's a really special, exciting day because we get to, to visit this school that's behind me, Enki School. We're going to be providing art materials for the children and asking them to paint their story, their life, what inspires them about Africa, the wildlife, um, their Maasai tribe, about, about a third of them are from Maasai. And we're going to see what they come up with and we can't wait to show you. That must be animals. You're on an animal wildlife corridor here. Could you just name some of the animals that go past yes, the school? We have, we have so many animals here, but the main animals that we have around here is we have elephants, we have zebras, a giraffe, buffaloes, and uh, the gazelles. Lions come once in a while because they come and go back to the, the bush. So the animals that you can see around here, mostly they are elephants. They are around here. But the lions, the leopards come once and they go back. And would the children see some of these animals from the school, through the fences from the classrooms, or would they be further away? They see them around here, just here. Just here, so you were just pointing out of the, the window just of the office? Here. Just here, the fence here. Just here you were going to yeah, go? Yeah, you can see the elephant here, outside the fence. Gosh. So. And uh, it's also a challenge because when they come to school early in the morning, they meet with these animals. So sometimes they go back home or they come very late, especially because of the elephants. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's dangerous. Yeah. Thank you so much for introducing the challenges and the wonders of your school. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So I'm just putting some colours that I've seen in the landscape. I was asked by Phoebe at Born Free to paint. She's been asking me for days, and I've been saying, no, I won't do it, but I did it. Just to show how we can use these really simple watercolour paint boxes at a large scale and without doing any pre-drawing. I don't know what you think, but there we go. This is the school, an elephant, giraffe. This is what these guys see every day out of the window of their school. This is a cow and an elephant. That's a fantastic painting. with their picture so that then they can take their pictures and hold with them to show their parents. Just look at this. These guys have painted their story, a story of people and wildlife, their home, their school. Come and have a look. Born free. We have been with them here for about four years now. So we used to help one another because I remember back like two years back, they brought us desks because we had a challenge in uh, desks in our classrooms. So they assisted with around 35 desks and uh, the children now are comfortable in class. Uh, also, they brought us some trees, 
as you can see around here. And we planted because then you can see the environment, the way it is, it is very harsh. So we need to change the environment by planting trees so that you can improve this area. Another thing is uh, we have some challenges here. I've been talking with the uh, madam about the animal human conflict. As you can see, we have a fence here. But the fence is, is not just like a fence because the elephant keep on coming every now and then. So as you can see, the fence that we have here is not up to the standard because if it was an electric fence, it would be better. This is one of the trees that Born Free have helped the school to plant. Um, but if you look up here, come up here, you can see the thorns on this acacia. This, this dead area, this is elephant damage. They break down that fence and then they damage the trees. So it's a constant battle with the wildlife and finding that balance so people can live here and the wildlife can live here. And that's what Born Free does so well. Because when we plant trees here, around here, the, around the school, the trees, the, the elephants come and uproot them. So we keep on replacing them every now and then. So that is a challenge. You'll tell us your names. What's your name? My name is David Larasha. Le and, and how old are you, David? 13 years old. 13 years old. Yes. What grade are you in? Grade 6. Grade 6. What's your name? My name is Patience. I'm in grade 6 in NK Primary School. In NK Primary School? My name is Michael Msili. I'm in grade 6. Grade 6? Yes, I'm in NK Primary School. NK Primary School. My name is Ruth Milano. I am... 12 years old, I'm in this school, in Gip Primary School, and I welcome you, you have enjoyed painting. Thank you very much. And what did you like about painting? P painting is a good something that you can paint. I love painting. Mm, I will welcome you in Gip Primary another day. Thank you. What have you painted today? Today I've painted a painted a hill. Because our home is near a hill, and I, uh, I paint some some trees and some some grass there down, and I've written my name. And what is the uh, what is this that what is this that you have painted? Who is that? That is my sister. Mm -hmm. he, he loves going to to see wild wild animals. Your sister likes seeing wild animals. Yes. Do you like seeing wild animals? Yes. Okay. And what have you painted, David? I am painted a house mm -hmm. and a bull mm -hmm. and a tree. Why did you paint the? Why did you paint a bull? Why? Why do you like bulls? Because my father is like bulls. Your father likes bulls. Yes. Do you have uh, bulls at all? Yes. How many? Two. Two. Yes. Okay. And. Uh, what have you painted? House. Show us your painting. Mm -hmm. Trees. Trees. Donkey. Donkey. Sun. Sun. And helicopter. Helicopter. Wow. Why did you paint a helicopter? I love him. No. Tell us about your painting. Okay. I have painted uh, trees mm -hmm. with fruits, mm -hmm. sky, sun. And I have painted this picture because I want people to know about the conserving our wildlife. Okay. And which is your favorite wildlife? I like elephant. You like elephant? Yes. Yeah. And what is the animal in your painting? Antelope. Antelope. Yes. Why did you choose an antelope? Because antelope like plants and I like very antelopes and elephants. Okay. So can each one of you tell me I'll go around and you can all tell me your favorite animal. Favorite animal? Elephant. Donkey. Lion. Bull. Bull. Okay. Did you enjoy yourselves today? Yes. Okay. So these are kids from Enki Primary. We've just had a very uh, interesting painting session with them. And uh, we hope um, the rest of you have enjoyed being with them. So Joe's photographing all of these paintings now to add to our world gallery. And we'd like all of the schools watching when the children's work is done to do the same thing. Just use an iPhone or a smartphone, take a snap, maybe zoom in like that to crop out anything else. And then change the file name so that it has the child's first name and your school and their age and submit it on our last chance to paint form.
I've missed the, I've missed the giraffe. It's easy to do, takes a little bit of time, but we're hugely grateful to the teachers that can do this. We're just giving the children back their, their paintings so that they can take them home. If you remember, the our film the other day, their homes are in the Boma, so not so easy to take their home. They can't go home and put it on the fridge like all you do, probably. So, very difficult, but hopefully they'll be very proud to show their parents. So everybody's getting a copy of the Born Free magazine, Raw, which is fantastic. We've done work on that with Last Chance to Paint before, and this is a lovely little gift for the children to have. And this is, this is me. <laughs> so exciting news, We're, we've left the school, fantastic workshop and a bit like looking for a lion in Kenya. Can you see our Land Rover anywhere? Let's have a little look. I'll push it, I'll push it. I'm good at pushing it. <laughs> it's not here. Um, it went off while we were working and it's broken down. So we're walking a little bit to see if we can go and find it. You can see they've got some of the boys from the school push the Land Rover to try and get it started. It's started. This is our starting motor. So we just pulled in, Martin's just pulled the Land Rover in and you can see why, even though I'm just filming on an iPhone so it's quite distant to view, it's right next to the car, look. It's a giraffe and it's eating, well, I don't know if it is eating from the acacia, can, can it? I don't know if it can reach, it's trying to eat from the acacia probably. That's what they would naturally eat, it's beautiful. So all go and paint a giraffe. I'm the most excited I've ever been. <laughs> it's just like incredible. Just put it in a second. Martin's just reversing the lander. You can see why. Because the um look at that, there's an elephant literally just an there. An elephant, an elephant! Oh my there's an elephant. <laughs> so it's, it's not an elephant. It's not an elephant. I'm really tired. It's not an elephant. <laughs>